Hey guys, how's it going? I am in the movie room on a Saturday night, and um, you know, I like to have movie marathons in here. This is like my movie sanctuary, kind of like my place to go to, hang out, and kind of just be chill, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes I'll come in here and have movie marathons and just hang out, and that's what I'm going to do tonight, and I figured this time I'm going to bring you guys along for the ride, and uh, you know, show you what I'm watching, talk about them a little bit, um, might have some snacks, I don't know man, I got a big ass pizza in there I'm going to make, um, definitely going to have some beer, uh, but yeah, the first movie I'm going to watch is actually, uh, if you can see that there, uh, it's not showing up, The Aviator, which I just picked up today, I did a, uh, a haul video and showed this, but I picked it up for the steep, steep price of two twenty-two. So yeah, I've never seen it, man. I'm very anxious to check it out. A Martin Scorsese and Leonardo DiCaprio film I've never seen. So, um, like I said, just gonna bring you guys along for the ride here on this uh, movie marathon night. Um, not sure exactly how it's gonna go, what I'm gonna film. We'll just see how it goes, guys, and hopefully you guys enjoy this. So let's get started with the Aviator. So I'm about halfway through The Aviator now. Um, really enjoying this movie a lot. Uh, I mean, it, it's to be expected with Martin Scorsese, Leonardo DiCaprio. You know, it, everything I've seen them do is just really, really good. I love the elegance of this film. And I love Kate Blanchett and Leonardo on the screen together, man. It's just... There's some amazing uh, exchange of dialogue in this film. Um, but yeah, I am getting ready to crack my first brewski here. Going to have some Heineken. And um, probably not too far off from uh, firing up the oven and throwing in that pizza I have out there. That's uh, It's calling my name. But I think probably what I'm going to do is... Um, finish watching this there's probably about close to like an almost an hour and a half left actually um but i'll probably finish up this movie and then make the pizza but this movie's going along at a really good pace you know i put this one in first because i'm probably going to watch movies out of the stack of stuff that i got today and i figured this was a good one to put in to start with you know and like save the more fun and crazy type films for later you know when it gets a little bit later tonight I get a few more beers in me and feeling buzzed and having a good time, you know. So, but yeah, I mean, the Aviator is, um, it's impressive, you know, for my first time through. Um, I'm really enjoying it quite a bit, guys. So, um, yeah, that's it for now, guys. I'll be right back here in just a little bit. So guys, I finished up the Aviator, and as you saw, next up is Better Off Dead. Charge to everybody. I absolutely love this comedy. It's one of my all-time favorite comedies. I have never actually owned this before until today, and I got it for four dollars, man. Oh, I'm so thrilled to have it. I don't care if it's DVD. I'd rather it be Blu-ray, but I don't believe this is on Blu-ray. It doesn't matter. This movie is awesome. And let me tell you, I want my $2. Pizza in the oven, grabbing another brewski, and of course, you're gonna go all night. Have a late night movie marathon, which as you can see, it's still a little daylight outside. Before it gets too late, you have to have 
five hour energy drink, guys. Yes. So, always make sure you have your five hour energy before you pass out. If you guys are gonna have a proper movie marathon, you have to have pizza, right? I mean, come on, look at this. Delicious, scrumptious pizza. Is that making you hungry? How about this? It is hot, man. Just straight out of the oven. I'll tell you. I am a huge advocate for Walmart's take and bake pizzas. They're actually really damn good. This pizza is like humongous. And it's only like $9. You can get a traditional like large size for the same price but this is like their ultimate large like I'll get this and I'll eat on it for days you know I I typically eat pretty good during the week but like on the weekends I'll have my pizza and I'll have my beer you know and just when you're having a movie marathon man I mean to me I think you gotta have pizza you know I, I, I think it just um, it goes hand in hand right yeah. So just finished up. Better off dead. Awesome classic 80s. I just man, I can't say enough good things about this film. I really, really love it a lot, and I am still uh, drinking the Heine here. Trying not, trying to not get a wedgie in my own Heine from drinking Heine. <laughs> Knee slapper. Yeah. So better off dead is over. Next up, guys, we are going to watch The People Under the Stairs, which I just put into the Blu-ray player. I'm very anxious to check this out and um, see what the transfer is like. Yes, um, I just I really love that artwork a lot, man. I'm very excited. And the, and the menu screen is up right here, and it already looks awesome, man. Screen Factory just does such a great job with their releases, man. I'm so impressed with, you know, the things that they put out. So, People Under the Stairs is next. I'm a little more than halfway through the People Under the Stairs. Um, Screen Factory Blu-ray. It looks really, really good. Like, at first, you know, it was a little grainy. I wasn't real sure. But man, this this transfer looks really good. And I mean, this 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 movie is just it's just a creepy movie, you know. It, it's just so weird and bizarre. It's just a real, you know. Wes Craven really captured this weirdness, this bizarreness to it, with all the characters and just their situations, you know. I mean, of course you've got the the brother and sister, you know, this weird. But then, you know, just seeing all the people that are trapped there in the house and you're wondering you know what the hell they are what the hell's going on and just it's just a constant weirdness about this film that it, it's just I don't know man I, I I really really like this film and it's really cool to finally have this on blu-ray and finally be watching it um, Sean Whalen is as Roach is just he's awesome man He's really, really good in this role. And the little kid, I mean, you know, the back and forth between those two is just, it, it, it's really good in this movie. It works. There's just a natural just chemistry between those two, I think, that really works in this. You know, and plus the, the girl, too, that's trapped there, it just, it works, man. Great movie. So, just finished up The People Under the Stairs, and I have to say, I just, you know, I have a more respect and appreciation for this film now than what I did before. You know, one thing I, I really realized watching this film is how good Wes, Wes Craven was at crafting unique horror films. You know, between Last House on the Left, Nightmare on Elm Street, this, and even stuff in his later years like Red Eye, which can't compare, but still, I mean, he really crafted just really different horror films, you know? And this film, it's weird, it's bizarre, it's really out there, and it really, it makes you uncomfortable. But I think, you know, with characters like Fool, Alice, and Roach, 
there, there it, it creates a balance in this you know where if you look at the brother and sister in this you know and just all of the weirdness it really makes you uncomfortable but then there's also those other characters that are in it that it kind of balances all of that out and I think that that's why this film has carried on like it has and I think that's why this film you know it, it's carried on enough to garner you know a special edition from Screen Factory and why fans still appreciate a film like this you know I just I, I think that this is something that's you know I, I think it's it, it's aged well I mean maybe not so much in its acting or whatever you know but just in, in its just it's just uniqueness it's just a totally unique film there's no other horror film like this I don't think so at all um, but I really enjoyed watching this again guys this is a great edition of it for sure and I just wanted to say real quick on this video too you know I did not get um, to participate in Ryan Chataway's 24-hour uh, more uh, movie marathon, that is, I, you know, getting all tangled up there. Too many beers, um, but I did not get to participate in his movie marathon. So this is kind of like my consolation video, I guess you could say. Um, you know, I only watched a couple films here tonight, but this is kind of like my participation. You know, Ryan Chataway always does a, a 24 hour movie marathon. He does it every year. It's really awesome. He's getting ready to put out a very long, awesome video, and he does it every year. So, this is kind of my participation, my half ass participation, I guess you could say. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you want to see more of these, let me know below. You know, like I said, I, I, I watch movies in here as much as I can on the weekends. And if you guys like this and want to see more of these, you know, maybe I'll film more videos. You know, we'll see how it goes. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I had fun doing it. Um, I just, I have a lot of fun filming this stuff. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. So, thanks for watching, guys. Take care, guys. Later.